Following most surgical procedures, patients are at a higher risk of developing blood clots, sometimes referred to as venous thromboembolisms, or VTEs. There are two basic kinds of VTEs, deep vein thrombus, or DVTs, and pulmonary embolism, or PEs. DVTs are most commonly found in the legs, but they may also develop in the arm or other deep veins in the body. A piece of this blood clot may separate from the vein and travel to the lungs, causing a pulmonary embolism, or PEs. This is a serious medical emergency that can cut off the flow of blood to the lungs and can cause death. There are a number of ways to prevent post-surgical blood clots and avoid such a medical crisis. Here are the four most common ways to avoid blood clots and the serious medical complications they might cause. One, anticoagulants. These are pharmaceutical treatments that are usually injected in the stomach. Some of the more common anticoagulants are Lovenox and heparin. Two, exercise. Simple movements can also prevent clots. Small repetitive exercises while in bed or sitting in a chair can be very helpful. Move your feet in a circle or up and down. Do this about 10 times an hour to improve circulation. Three, ambulation or moving always improves circulation and prevents blood clots. Small walks, even if it's from one side of the room to another, can do a lot to prevent blood clots. Four, sequential compression devices, also known as SCDs. These are plastic compression sleeves that are wrapped around the legs and connected to a pump. The pump inflates and deflates the sleeves, creating a gentle pressure that promotes circulation and prevents clots. It is this pressure that keeps blood flowing to the heart while preventing pooling or clot formation. Make sure that these devices are removed when walking to avoid falls. These simple techniques and devices are used in both the hospital and home settings. Make sure your healthcare provider provides you with the information you need on these life-saving techniques prior to your hospital discharge. Of course, the most important thing to remember is to be aware of the signs or symptoms of a blood clot or problems with medicine used to prevent them. Patients should contact their physician or health care provider if you experience any of the following. Pain, swelling or redness in the leg, arm or other area, bloody urine or stool, dark or tar-like stool, vomiting with blood, bleeding from the nose, bleeding from the gums, vaginal bleeding, or a cut that will not stop bleeding. Patients should call 911 immediately if you experience any of the following. Chest pain, shortness of breath, fast heartbeat, excessive sweating, fainting, coughing up blood, heavy or uncontrolled bleeding. If you have any questions about blood clots or how to prevent them after surgery, make sure you consult with your physician or health care provider. The preceding has been brought to you by St. Joseph's Candler. Live smart. <laughs>